So I just, you know, I think upon this time I hate my father, and I just turned that around into a bit of Hello, hi, I'm Steven Silver, and I welcome to Serious Political Discourse. Tonight I am joined with Matt Marino, and uh, as of now we're going to start discussing foreign policy and ISIS specifically. Now, as I said, as a flaming Marxist that I am, I believe that we should have Saudi Arabia and all the adjacent countries have to deal with Syria and uh, Assad. I don't know why, as Americans, we feel that we should be the world's police and spend trillions of dollars overseas, you know, and risk American lives. I don't like putting a vet in danger. I'm pro-droning. If President Barack Obama wants to bomb ISIS people from the skies, go ahead. I draw a line at sending the boots on the ground. I feel that I love my vets so much. I agree. I, I agree. don't want. All I right. don't want All to right. lose them or have them come back. I don't want you to get into a diatribe because I agree to an extent. Well, where do you? I disagree? have a question for you. Sure. Where does all of this hate, violence, genocide stem from? Where does the Islamic State, mm -hmm. Al Qaeda, mm -hmm. most, you know, I Middle think, Eastern? I think I know what your answer would be, and I think you would say. I'm asking you a simple question. I think it's economic. Is it? I th I think it's 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 primarily socioeconomic. Is it? It is, and I think that it also relates to energy that we could cut ties with Saudi Arabia and most of the Middle East, Azerbaijan as well as Asia, if we had independence regarding energy. But because we need OPEC, then we say, hey, Saudi Arabia, we'll trade with you, we'll send you guys arms, and uh, just hook us up with the oil. If we- Is the Islamic State in Saudi Arabia? Well, I'm, I'm talking gen general, geographically in the region. Okay. But just... the fact that ISIS, you're ISIS is able. You're, to, you're no, no, no. Hold, hold up, hold on. I'm, I'm going back. I've been to holding. It. On I'm for setting about up a background minute. for our viewer. I'm saying that if we ha were energy independent, and if the world were energy independent, then ISIS wouldn't have all the money they're getting from oil sales and taking that infrastructure and using it to their own advantage to then fund themselves. Don't in their they army. also make money uh, via sex slavery? I think they recruit using sex slavery. I don't know how much money is in the sex slavery. Just curious business. if they have other, you know, funds coming Prim in. I, I, do I think it is primarily, primarily oil. is oil sales and oil sales. And if the world moves into the 21st century and moved away from fossil so fuels. So before you said uh, socioeconomic, and that's why we have uh, such uh, and it's also education. extremist. Well, I, you're, I, you're I think now you're adding a no, multitude no, 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 I, of problems. Socioeconomic, environmental See, education. You can keep. So what going. are you saying? What do you? What do you? What do well, you feel? Well, first I want to get is. a straight answer from you, but I don't believe that's going to happen. I, I think it's socioeconomic and it's ed it's educational. I think those are the two primary. And as a tertiary and source, perhaps maybe religion. What about but environment? Other, you forgot your one of your uh, crowning arguments: environmental. Well, that ties with energy because it's all interconnected. You, you never said energy. A, you said socioeconomic. Yeah, yeah, based solely on oil sales. Okay. So, so let's hear, so, let's hear so, from you. Real, let's real, see. real quick. No, 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 no. Just, I, just I would, no, 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 no. Please, please. What do you think the source of ISIS and the rise of ISIS? As you did for our is, viewer, I'm going to attempt to do by educating them from go your ahead, previous go ahead. statement. I want to hear what the great Matt Marino has to say on the subject. Thank you, Steve. Um, you say it's due to the fact uh, of many socioeconomic issues, one of which is that they gain tons of money via oil. Correct. So you're saying ISIS is so rich via their oil sales that they turn to radicalization and violence and genocide? i like to know where you're going with this. I'm asking a question just what? to further your argument. I think it's, it's not one any individual source. I think it's the culmination of several factors that have brought us here today. Because if there you were... Listed if several there were fa you if, listed less than several factors, but it's okay. I'm saying if there were an easy source of this, then you could argue there'd be an easy solution. And if there were an easy solution, then I believe it would have been handled by now. If not by our own president, Barack Obama, then internationally, <laughs> I feel that, you know, the EU I, I, I would agree. have. So even if even if you, as a conservative, think that this president. I never listen no, no, to myself no, no, as a if conservative. You, but for but the if, sake of if, argument, for the sake I will of argument, accept, if you think he I will sucks, accept your labeling. I would argue that the international community would have solved the problem of ISIS already if there were an easy solution. Now, just militarily, just by bombing ISIS, we create more ISIS. I feel that this is a Hydra situation, not Hydra as in Marvel. But you're in favor of droning. Comics. You're in favor of droning, which in essence is bombing ISIS. So you're in favor of perpetuating the problem. If need be. I'm throwing you a bone there by saying that. Because I... You, I don't need a bone. Because I know you and your type, you want to have boots on the type. ground. 
You want to you want to drag America into a decades-long struggle where we have nothing to show for it except our brave American soldiers who you know men and women who decide to fight and to keep up the honor of the United States who want to serve their country and then what do they get for it? They get bad VA. I want to improve the VA, but to stop that. I don't want to send vets into harm's way unless absolutely necessary. And I think at this stage, it's not necessary enough and that we can have Saudi Arabia's army. We can have Jordan. You know, <coughs> we can have the, the Middle East come together and stop Syria. Turkey can do stuff. I just don't think that at this point, America has to get involved. Because I've read your book, and I know that you state that, you know, that we should send boots on the ground. Well, that's a, should, that is a lie. You know, and you cite, you cite Sarah lie. Palin's endorsement I, of Trump. Lie. That's where she lie. says that we should go kick ISIS you're, ass. You're lying. And if that isn't a, a call for boots on the ground, then I don't know what is. I thought this show was entitled Serious Political Talk. Discourse. Some, discourse. Yeah. Something of that nature. Thank you. Go on. Um, but no, but back Based to on your consistent lying about a supposed book, my book is not about anything well, to do with the Middle East. Let's plug your book. We have three minutes until our next break. What's your book about? Uh, my book is about the potential puppeteering of Donald Trump via the Hillary Clinton war machine. Mm -hmm. You can get it yep. on Amazon or Etsy. But regardless, I'm going to now answer your initial question. But the chapter in, in your book about ISIS... You never read my book. Did well, you read I my have, book? I have to read your book. I'm very well read. So you, 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 you didn't read it? No, I did. I read your book. It's available on Amazon and Etsy, and I recommend it. And I believe I have a blurb on the back saying, buy this book or die, what do I care? That's Don't true. Care. But anyway, you, you're, you're misquoting Okay, well, uh, I'll, allow you, I'll allow you to, to fix that statement. Go on. <clears throat> um, there's no mention of Sarah Palin. I'm not a fan of Sarah Palin. Um, no, but you discussed the puppeteering of Donald Trump. Sarah Palin has to help with the puppeteering because she endorsed him. Do you want to get back to ISIS? Sure, or do you want okay. to get, we can talk about Whichever. my book in the later well, segment. Well, well, okay. Um, but I ISIS. believe, first of all, a lot of things were brought up in your um, very uh, foggy answering of my question. Mm -hmm. I believe the first and foremost um, attack towards ISIS is education. I think the faith of Islam is one which was founded on conquering and slight violence. And some people take that to the extreme. Now, would you, I believe, how would you label that? Uh, extremist terrorism. A, a, extremist Islamic terrorism. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know that's, if you've heard the term. That's where but, I take offense. Because, why? Because Islam is a religion of peace. Really? Now, here's, here's why I will differ. It can be. I will differ from my own liberal cohorts on this point. I think I am pro-American Muslims. I think you have Muslims in America who are outstanding citizens who are able to balance their faith with the laws and regulations of the United States. And I support American Muslims 1,000%. Now, with the rise of Sharia law and you know ISIS and the caliphate that's happening, I, th I think... As a libertarian... Yes, go on. I support American Muslims, American Catholics, American yes. Satanists, American Jews. It doesn't matter because this is America, land of the free, home of the brave. But I do want to say one thing. Go on. A constant theme with a lot of the attacks, both at home and abroad, is the faith of Islam. Now, I'm not saying the entire faith, and I'm saying education. I think people should be educated. It, it may be a common denominator, but I'll tell you this, it's the lowest common denominator. Uh, I'm speaking here with Matt Marino. You're watching Serious Political Discourse.